Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back again. We're gonna continue learning about the notification API. So today's video is all about how we can asynchronously load an image from the internet and display in the notification. Although in our last video, we have seen how we should create a notification channel and display a simple text-based notification through that channel. So if you haven't watched that video, I would suggest you watch that part one first. We have already discussed some of the fundamentals there. I will definitely pin the link in this video description or at the right top corner of this video. Anyway guys, let's get started. As you guys can see, here we have our notification helper class. And we have two methods. One is responsible for creating a new notification channel. And this send notification is responsible for sending notification to our channel so that it can be visible in the notification tree. And these all have been discussed in our last video. Like before we call this send notification method, we must have initialized a notification channel. Otherwise notifications might not be visible in the notification tree, right? So before we get into the image text notification, let me quickly recap this create channel method in case if you haven't seen the part one. As you can see at the beginning of this function, we have an if condition to check whether the build version is greater than API level 26 or not because notification channel was introduced from API level 26. Then we are creating notification manager object. Then again, we are checking if the notification manager is not equal to null and if the channel is equal to null means we haven't created the channel then only we will create our notification channel like so here we are creating a notification channel instance then configuring some setting here then finally by the help of this notification manager creating the channel super simple but if you pay a little attention you would see that this method is kind of a static method meaning it can create only one notification channel called a sports channel right but if we need to create multiple notification channel for different category we, we need to make some changes in this method so let me show you quickly how we can create multiple channels and manage them from the app settings so let's add a string variable in the parameter for channel id Now replace all sports channel id with this channel id variable. Let's also add two more string type data in the parameter for channel name and description. String channel name string channel description now pass channel name here and pass channel description here Now we can make use of this function to create multiple channels. So I'm going to create a method that will create all our channels. So public static void mm, init channels. Now I'm taking context as a parameter. Now in this method, we can simply call create channel method, just like this. Then pass the context, then the channel ID. Uh, in this case, we are passing sports channel ID. Then channel name, let's say sports channel. Finally, write some text about the channel. 
receives sports notifications let's duplicate this line let's also create a unique channel id mm, news channel id let's also change here mm, news channel now pass this variable over here let's now change the channel name news channel then description receives news notifications finally let's go back to our main activity let's remove this piece of code and now call notification helper dot init channels and pass this as a context perfect now if we build and run this code we can see our sports channel and news channel should be created and we can manage them from our app settings let's see okay now i'm going to close the app and let's tap on the app icon app info then notifications see here is the news channel and our sports channel and we can manage these channels from here and that's all about creating and managing notification channels now let's talk about our main topic that is displaying an image with our notifications so first and foremost you know we are going to load an image from the internet and for this we will be using Picasso library that will help us to load our image from the internet anyway so open up your favorite browser then search Picasso Android now open this github page scroll down a bit see this is the dependency at the time i'm recording this video this is the latest and greatest version of the library 2.8 let's copy it open android studio open build.gradle of the module level and paste here in this dependencies block also remember to sync the project all right now we are going to create a separate method similar to this send notification method so i'm going to uh, copy this entire method and paste here let's change this method name like send image notification so as you can see here we have a notification builder object and this is what actually creating our sports channel only so instead of passing sports channel id let's add a string variable in the parameter let's call it um, channel id now pass here also see here we are setting the content title content text style and so on in the end we have a notification manager dot notify to display our notification this is a pretty straightforward code guys let's make some room now type picasso dot get dot load here we need to pass an image url so i'm going to add another string type data image url and pass here now dot into the new target hit tab perfect 
Now inside this uh, on bitmap loaded, we will check if this bitmap object is not equal to null. If bitmap not equal to null. Now we can call this builder object. So builder dot set style the new notification compact dot big picture style then dot big picture now pass this bitmap finally also we can set large icon so dot big large icon we can pass this bitmap or our app icon whatever is needed we can pass here so for now we are going to pass this bitmap again also let's move these two lines from here and place here finally inside our main activities on create method just after this init channels method simply call the method notification helper dot send image notification now pass this as a context then set a title then description or message then pass a notification channel id where we actually want to send the notification notification helper dot let's say news channel id finally pass the url of an image and that's all guys now we are gonna build and run our code again so that we can see what we have done here let's check this out as you can see our app is running now and let's check out our notification tray see here is our notification with an image and text 